The project platform case is a 3D printed case that on the front will give you access to the LCD and the three buttons that give you the user interface capability. On this side there is a port for 5 volt power and a slot that can either be used as shown for a 6-pin header or as an exit entry for a ribbon cable. In this case, as I said, there's a 6-pin header in here. One of those pins is soldered to the circuit board as a ground and then the other five would be available for connecting to any of the Arduino pins um, that um, have been exposed on the circuit board inside the case. On this end is the SD card and also the uh, USB port for uh, the Arduino Nano. And on the back, a series of vents that probably aren't needed, the reset button, and if you need access to the ICSP header for programming, it's uh, made available there as well. And then, of course, four screws for uh, holding the back of the case to the front. And this is a 3D printed case, so it's not as going to be as perfect as a uh, extruded plastic. However, if you're printing it yourself, then it's going to be whatever quality your printer is capable of and set to. The Arduino Nano that comes with this kit is running a sketch that demonstrates the capabilities of the hardware platform. This is the main menu, which obviously demonstrates the use of the uh, LCD display and the buttons on the front panel. This menu provides access to the current temperature and humidity read from the DHT11 sensor that is inside the case. It also demonstrates the use of the SD card by displaying a history of readings with a reading taken every minute and recorded to the um, SD card and then again every minute redisplayed on the, uh, the LCD in the graph format with both the humidity and the temperature lines being shown. And an adjustment capability for the backlight which demonstrates the use of the PWM pin that is uh, driving the backlight as well as use of the internal flash memory on the Nano to save the backlight uh, setting for the next session. And then this last menu just does a uh, close on the uh, SD card so it can be safely removed. Yeah, let's take a look inside the case. Uh, first looking at the back of the case, this uh, is the reset button that sits inside of this hole, presses down on the Arduino Nano. These posts uh, are designed to press down on the PCB, holding the PCB and the LCD mounted on it firmly against the front of the case. And so now looking at the inside of the uh, project's platform itself, see the Arduino Nano mounted on top of two headers. An additional two headers are on either side of the Nano that allow access to all of the, uh, the pins of the Nano. Power in uh, with it being soldered with these two leads to the uh, PCB. And this is the port that allows access to uh, pins inside the case. In this case, I've got a six pin header um, that has been mounted in that slot that slot could be used for a ribbon cable, but in this case I've got the six pin header. Um, one of those pins is dedicated to ground, the rightmost one here. The other five could be used for jumper cables to attach to um, any of the pins or maybe even this breadboard, which I uh, am using for my demo. Again, this is half a breadboard, not included in the kit, that I've uh, stuck the DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor into power coming out of the um, the header here and then the signal from the DHT11 coming into 
one of the, the exposed uh, digital pins. Um, and uh, lastly, uh, noting on the, the uh, circuit board, a jumper here that allows you to choose either for uh, PWM uh, backlight or 5 volt backlight. Uh, PWM gives you access to, to intensity control for the backlight but uses a pin that you might need for something else then the, otherwise uh, you know if you do need that pin you can use the 5 volt power. And that pretty much sums up what's inside the case.